this last little thing, and this is why I'm going to do it. I have two sons, and both of my sons are in law school. And so I want to always ask my, uh, my guests, what advice do you have for people in law school or people who are just getting out of law school? Oh, sure. Yeah, we could talk about how long do we have in this segment. <laughs> <laughs> Not long enough. <laughs> exactly. I used to lecture to students at the law school who were graduating. And the, the class was designed around bringing in practicing attorneys to give them some advice and tips. And so... A piece of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really cool. That's why I was asking about the timing and the segment. But one of my favorite pieces of advice for people that are in law school is that don't underestimate your summers. Your summers are critical opportunities for you to get out and meet people and see what the practice is like. Because the one thing law school is not going to teach you, and tell me if you disagree, is what you feel, what it feels like to be a lawyer. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't get that until maybe a few years after graduation. You find does it dawn on you what it feels like to be a lawyer? But now, it might be a little bit different than I just came out of the country, you know, and, and so they kind of see what, what it's like for me. Uh, but yeah. you know, when I was going, I had no idea right. what, what that was. And you have only your summer to take advantage of that. Get, use those summers to meet practicing attorneys, see if you can get that experience, find out what attorneys do and what they like to do, and that's going to put you in the game. That's what I like to tell law students. What I like to tell new attorneys is the thing you need to figure out sooner than later is what is your strength. So really it's reflect on yourself, find something that you are really good at, because not everyone is a strong writer, not everyone is a strong speaker, not everyone is interested in writing blogs or reading cases or uh, meeting people. You don't have to force yourself to network with people if you don't enjoy it. There are so many ways that you can earn business, develop trust, find clients, and you just really need to find out isn't what it, your secret is. Isn't it something that's wonderful about the, the, the area of work or things is that there's so many that it's so vast. You know, you know, Absolutely. You know, like if I'm, if I'm a business major, I'm a business major. As, as an attorney, there's so many opportunities to do the things that, that you like to do. Right. The law is just infiltrated throughout life. That's what I think. Yeah, yeah. It's everywhere. And I think as an attorney, you realize just how many options you have. But you may not have realized that your, your whole life before... Okay, so before we wait on that thing, I want to talk a little bit. I always like to ask you, or to, what was your first job about the last year? No, I went in, I opened my, I hung up my single. No, that's good. I, I, I did the same thing. So, but, right out of law school. Well, why, why did you do that? Well, I mean, we were just talking about, you know, my background, and I was um, born to immigrant parents. Now, my entire family is made up of tradesmen who are in business for themselves. So for me, it was a natural step to go into business that, that I own. You know, that was more familiar to me. That was more comfortable to me to call those shots. You know? You also mentioned that it took you some time to get through college and life. So you weren't just, you were a 23 year old kid coming to Yeah. I had lost. There's that too. So I worked full time when I was in undergrad. And I was a business major. You know, I think that is another thing that sometimes surprises people. Uh, most law students are either poly sign majors yes. or you know, some English writing composition. That's my choice with poly sign. Yeah. Because I know that that was the, the, the avenue. The best way to the best recommendation. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I was a business student. Mm-hmm. I, I, I see that you have a degree in finance. Right. As, as I do. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. As a business major at Royal University, I got in finance. So that's my best option. And we both worked yes. in school. I was doing I was doing I was doing anything to do I went to art. But I was you know, I, I can tell you that my new back college background is really helped me a lot. You know, I mean, In what way? Well, I think just the way I understand people. Right. You know, That's what I was going to say to you. And it's, you know, it's funny. You know, I'm kind of uh, refreshed by talk, with talking to you. Why? Because you're a Chicago, right? So many of the attorneys that I bring up, so there are also Chicago. And many, uh, many of the attorneys that I speak with 
they're not from a family. Right? Yeah. So there are many of them, not all of them, obviously, but many of them have a blue card. Their family was in blue card, and they grew up in Chicago, and they were like, I'm going to become an attorney. And, 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 so, and then the, the area of law that they put, it's just it's, it's interesting. It's yeah. it's well, I think that, you know, that's not something you can really learn to relate to people. Well, you can either relate to them, of course. Well, you learn it because you either you grow up in it or you don't. Right? So, so I think well, that's, well, that's what I mean. It, you know, I think we're saying the same thing. Yeah. It's not something that you can open a book and do. Yeah. It's something that happens to you. Exactly. You live it. Right. And so then you become relatable when you go through some of those experiences. Absolutely. So, again, tell us what you do. I help people with probate, estate planning, and elder law issues. And then we haven't really got a chance to talk about that, but we're going to. But not the next segment, because the next segment we're going to talk about the Constitution. It's the Constitution segment, and attorney Zyskovich. Zyskovich? Zyskovich? Uh, I apologize. I just want to say that. 